this technology, you can never release the wrong person. The last thing they do on their way out the door is making sure that that iris matches that person. Fighting crime with brand new biometric technology, the high-tech ID system making its first appearance in Colorado law enforcement. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Ron Zappola. And I'm Deborah Takahara. The Arapaho County will be the first agency in Colorado to begin identifying criminals by scanning their eyes. That's right, Deb. Despite fears of Big Brother from critics, the technology has proven far more reliable than any other ID system. New tonight, Fox 31's Dave Young is live in Arapaho County with how the analysis works. Dave? Yeah, Ron, pretty soon when you're booked into jail here, you'll be more than just photographed and fingerprinted. The office here was one of just a handful of more than 3,000 in the country to win part of this federal grant to roll out this new system that definitely puts the eye in ID. This device analyzes a human iris, which has 235 identifying points of reference versus a fingerprint 65. It provides a 12 times more accurate ID. Fingerprints change, but irises stay stable throughout your life, which is why it's a great biometric to identify somebody with. Lawton helped develop this new technology. A federal grant allows Arapahoe County to be first in the state to apply it to law enforcement. A deputy helps demonstrate how it works. He won't tell us who he is. The camera is taking a digital photograph of his eyes. Saturation, the focus, the quality. The camera is talking to him, telling him whether or not he's in range. In six seconds, the information has come back that this is who he is. In government studies so far with more than two million cross matches, there's never been a false positive. After initial testing, Arapahoe County will share the technology with other law enforcement agencies, sharing criminal and inmate ID records. And particularly after we've done it for a period of time, uh, after a year we will have upwards of 20,000 inputs uh, into this database. It will also be used to track missing kids and seniors. We see this as the future. This will be the first step when you come in. We'll match your iris to your records and your records will come up. A record that's impossible to fake. Now eventually a law enforcement officer will be able to use a smartphone and take a picture of someone's eyes or their face, run it through the system and within seconds have a positive ID, something right now that can take hours. Thank you guys. Dave, thanks very much. The 